Hello, I'm Wyatt Bootsma reporting live for ZHS video and I'm here to talk about the gluttony of Zealand Public Schools and how we feel like we need to spend 53 million dollars on stuff that is useless and stupid while other schools can't even afford new textbooks and there's like a hundred years old. Now I'm told by an unreliable source that we only spent a couple hundred thousand dollars on this path but I'm here to tell you that that's a couple hundred thousand dollars that we didn't need to spend. Look at this roof. You see this roof? It's a big roof. It's an expensive roof. Now, last year we all thought it was gonna be great. It's a great idea to put a roof on the path. We'd be able to walk under it when it's raining or snowing or hailing or any combination of those three things. We thought it would be great. It's gonna be great. We're not gonna get wet. We'll stay dry. But little did we know, and we found out quickly this year, that it rains sideways more than you would think. Look at this, like there's no protection from the sides at all. Like if they wanted to really protect us from the elements, they'd put, they'd put like glass here or something. I don't know, but what, whatever they did, it was stupid because rain comes in from the side. What are you gonna do? You're gonna get wet, that's what you're gonna do. And we were told last year that this path was gonna be heated. Well, guess what? From what I've seen so far this year, it's not heated because whenever I walk out here after a freshly fallen snow, guess what's all on the path, snow. For one reason, because there's no protection from the sides, and for another reason, because the path isn't heated. Now you see this, you see this drain thing here? It's crazy, because you know when, when the sun comes out and melts everything else on the path, well the path isn't heated, so the sun has to do all the work. This thing stays frozen, the snow stays on it, because it's an, it's an insulator or a conductor or whatever it's called. I don't know, I didn't pay attention in science, but this thing stays frozen and all the water stays on the path. It doesn't drain into here. I was walking through like two inches of water yesterday. My socks got soaked, man. I was so mad because these drains don't work. What the heck are these seats here for? That doesn't make any sense. Never once in my life have I ever seen anyone take their seat on this thing. No one sits their butt on this. See, look at this. I'm gonna be the first person to ever sit down on one of these benches. History was just made here, folks. This is the stupidest waste of money I've ever seen in my days. Like, why? Why do we need this? Why, who, who in their eight minutes of passing time would come out here to sit down and do nothing. What, who, would, who would sit here on the path? It doesn't make any sense. Why do we need these and why do we have them? Now, these lights are probably one of the top 10 dumbest things about this path. Like, do you know how long this path and these schools survived without lights on the top of this roof? I mean, we just got the roof, but why do we need the lights? Like, we walked out here in the dark all the time. I did it last year. I came right out of first hour and I walked a second hour. I never tripped and fell in the dark because it wasn't that dark because we didn't need lights. All right, let's say it's a good day, but it's raining outside. But let's say the rain's cooperating and it's actually coming down from the top and it's landed right on this roof and this roof is protecting you from the whole way, from your walk to east to west. And you're like, oh, it's such a great day. The rain's not coming in from the side today. I love this new roof, man. I think it's great. Rain's just coming down right on top of it, all nice, all nice, just like it's supposed to. And then you walk out, you walk out right into this gap right here above west here and bam you get drenched upon you are soaked and your day is ruined all right you know guys i really don't like this path uh you know i find it hard we we found the most glutinous and the most irresponsible and unnecessary way to spend this this money and on this path you know we didn't need it it's not necessary at all we survived for years without the roof and the bigger path and everything and you know it's hard because other schools are out there like trying to make ends meet and they're trying to get new textbooks for their kids they just don't have the same luxuries we do and we just kind of take it for granted guys so uh think about that and the next time we get a pond here in zealand like this i'm gonna i'm gonna say vote no 